Hello and welcome everybody. I am joined by me. I'm Peter. <laughs> I'm Daniel. Melina. Tori. You may remember <laughs> most of us. We have a new person, which is Tori. Uh, we are going to be starting a new game. Um, it's called The Howling of Frankfurt. I, uh, we have Peter here playing. I will be playing Jackson. Uh, do you like a brief summary then? Sure. All right. So Jackson is a Ithior, which is like the spirit master type, and his tribe is Bone Shadow. He concept is like the odd one out. He's like the artsy fartsy ish one, and he's more spirit oriented. Uh, Daniel, my character's name is Guy. He's a <laughs> he's a Kohelet. He was a soldier. That's his blood. Um, he's just more of a laid back kind of character and does what he feels like it's gonna he wants to do something that's fun and it makes fun he's just gonna do it so might end up running off my character's name is Tommy she's the challenger and the pack leader for now we'll see (laughs) how things go (laughs) Uh, she's also an MMA rookie Uh, she likes to be in the ring and decking people out and uh, tribe is Stormlord Alright, well hey, the name's Tori. I am playing Kita. She is a Elodo. I may have said that right. She's also a cyber hacker and it's gonna be my first run with the game, so can't wait. Uh we actually have another character. His name will be Robert. Um he's played by Mark. Uh you've heard Mark. Um unfortunately he's not here to join us right now. He will be joining us through Discord. Hopefully shortly. I we have no idea. We haven't heard from him. He may have died. Who knows? All right, so let's get started with this. This story is true. Take a seat, my little Muthra. This is going to be a long one. It's about a pack, my pack, in its younger years, mind you, and the city, the city that spawned me, or what was left of her. See, this city, she was dying a slow death. A pit stop for drugs and gangs that were destined for the Windy City. Any wealth had long since moved or decided to take a dirt nap. The Hissel was wrecked into a barren. As you well know, this didn't help the humans at all. Not that they knew or even would have cared. Only two major spirits remained. One known as Old Stony, the other TPA. Human names for their places of origin. These two were quite something, one as stubborn as a mountain while the other, well, you know what they say about a woman's wiles, right? My pack shared, well, shared is a strong term, the city with two packs of pure. They had spats, with neither side gaining a clear advantage over the other. The night of the half moon in late January was a tipping point that began in a wave of searing heat and orange glow. This, my Muthra, this is where our story truly begins. Arunda Takis. Alright, so you guys are watching your glade burn down on the, on the shadow side. The Hissel side is several buildings that have caught on fire, one of them being a pet store. Why the pet store? It's always a pet store. <laughs> Not the rabbits. Because it was nearby, I'm sure. So, I'm looking in the shadow. Yeah. And you're able to see a um, sigil that... It's almost too perfect in its design. Too perfect in the design. Means it was designed. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. as in it was it was designed with realism in mind. Oh. It's meant to be a reflection of realism rather than an abstract sigil or something like that. Oh, do I recognize it? Yes, it belongs to one of the pure packs from the area. Bastards! <laughs> I say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> oh, um, um, they 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 graffiti their their name basically on the shadow side, so we know who did it. Oh, uh, they've done it. Okay. Well, time for some blood, I guess. I guess. <laughs> But why a glade, though? Uh, do, do they ever make any sense? I mean... <laughs> Not really. Nothing they do makes sense. Hate runs deep. He's here too, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Pet, pet. It's okay. It's, <laughs> just keep my cool guys. I don't want to blow off too much steam. Um, you you start to catch notice of somebody running towards you guys off to your. It would be your guys' right. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, why? You, you actually you you definitely know her because uh, you've actually already nipped at her one day, so you've gotten a taste of the blood. <laughs> I was a dog at the time. <laughs> Anyways, why is she here? I don't know, but she's running. Please, one of you help me. Some guy just just ran to our house and destroyed everything. My mom told me to run. Can you guys call the cops or something? Uh, well, we can co- definitely call the cops, but why don't we go check out your area first? All right, follow me. I'll take off back running. Uh, you don't even need to run very far before you see uh, two members uh, that you recognize, uh, specifically the ones that... Um, were the first ones to, you know, that broke off and, you know, were with your father. One of them is a very large man, and he begins spinning a very shiny knife between his fingers, kind of glaring at you guys with a slight smirk on his mouth. That's the limp unicorn bastard! Call the cops! I don't like that shiny knife, though. We recognize him? Yeah, he's a member of the... Pack one of the packs. One of the packs here. that are against us. Yes. Miss, I need to call Not my mom. One, Help me get the cops. Just vandalized. Okay. Um, Jack and I will follow Knife Guy. Guy. Knife Guy. I'm not the guy. <laughs> the other guy took off running, huh? Yeah. Guy, you're going to have to go with. Okay. Kita. Kita. Yeah. Are we going to chase after this guy then? She's going to, you're going to have to follow her to her home. Okay. Make sure it's all right. Yeah. Okay. I have to check on, check on my mom. Come on. Let's go. Let's lead the way. I'll follow you. Okay. So you guys break off to go after the um, two members, the guy, one of them twirling the knife. Um, the area, they duck down an alleyway here, and um, it, it's not really secluded, as you can there's cars parked. It's still in the downtown area of Frankfurt. Um, I would like to establish a chase here. Um, okay. They have about a three-point lead. Um, what are your guys' intent with this chase? Uh, catch uh, and get information. Yeah, basically stop them from running. Yeah. That's number one. Get information mm-hmm. second. Like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, sir. 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 Sorry. <laughs> you dropped something. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've established what you guys are going to be doing here shortly. Okay. Let's go ahead and focus on you guys, though. Sounds good. So you are taking him to your home, correct? Yes. We're yeah. just two more blocks away, all right? Sounds good. It won't get there, though. Time Call the cops while we're running. I don't have a phone on me. God I mean, we'll me. go. It's fine. If, if it's bad, then we'll call him or we'll get your grandma to say first. My mom, know. not my grandma, and my dad. They're both still there. Oh, okay, they didn't... Where were they inside the house, like? I don't know. These guys broke just in. My parents or... just told me to run. Okay. She woke me... My mom woke me out of bed. Why don't you have a phone? What you person doesn't have a phone? It's 2019. I don't want a phone, okay? What person doesn't have a phone? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's just go... We'll call All right, uh, you... Uh... You get to her house and, like, the front door is just completely thrown off of its hinges. And you can see the vague outline of, like, a garu form, like the shoulders, etc. I see the former leg. Like, just the size and the way that the front door is damaged. Uh Even the frame, you're like, you can easily tell that, like, somebody in garu form forced their way through that door frame. So before this happened, did you hear or see... Anything, because that door is... I was upstairs to sleep, and my mom just woke me up and told me to, to go. Okay. I don't know what's going on. So my dad in the backyard, and she just stopped in the living room. Let's, my mom is still in there. Okay, let, let's just go. I'm kind of hesitant just because I see what it is, so I'm kind of keeping yeah. my senses going on just because... All right, you walk into the living room, and the li- living room... Is, is it just, still on fire? Or is no, it just burnt? Th- this is her house, not, yeah. not, the, not the building that we're Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Um, this, this room is just completely and utterly trashed. You see, like, deep, deep claw marks in the wall. You do see a lot of blood on the ground. Mm-hmm. You obviously can't tell whose blood it is, but you can just see the blood on the ground. Okay. What the heck happened to my house? Mom! First, when I can call 911 on this one, I'll say this right now. But we can go look in the different rooms, just listen and make sure if you hear anything, just shout for me. But I'm just keep walking and where did you find, were you trying to find your mom and your dad first? Both. You said anything. your mom was inside, right? Yeah, she was, she was here where there's, okay. everything's blown up apparently. Yeah, and there's blood everywhere too. I'm going to go um, find my phone in my room. I go back upstairs. All right, uh, so you're going to run up uh, to your room? Yeah, to my room to get my phone. Your room is completely ransacked as well and destroyed. What the dirt? Well, my posters. Hey, your, but your room isn't the same type of destroyed as the living room is. It's more destroyed as in they ransacked it looking for stuff. So it's not like things are destroyed for the sake of destruction or like there was a fight in there. It's like all your dresser drawers are pulled out and dumped out onto the floor. Your mattress is flipped up against the wall. I just bought this new dress. Why is everyone going through my stuff? <laughs> Where's my phone? I started looking around for my charger. You can't find your phone. Oh. It, it may have been taken by the person. Um, I'm you're sure in the room just walking around, see if I can find a, a trail of blood that... Maybe someone crawled away or walked away. Um, honestly, inside the house, it's just a complete and utter mess. Mm-hmm. You can assume that they probably entered in through the front door. Oh, yeah. Just because of the shape of the door frame. Uh, as you get out to the back of the house, you can kind of see the backyard and you do... If you thought the living room had a bunch of blood, Jeez. the oh, backyard wow. is <laughs> almost painted red. I'm in my parents' room like this is going on, looking for their backup phone in their closet. You're unable to find anything. Okay. I go back downstairs to find whatever his name is. So just don't come outside just yet. Just stay inside, please. Did you find anything? Do you see my dad? I'm I'm looking right now, but just hold off on the inside. I just gotta go check something out real quick in the backyard. I go back to the kitchen. All right. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? Or is that just a stalling tactic? Stalling tactic. Just anything, really, just to... I wanted... Because I just saw it that she's already coming down. I wanted to just go and see all this blood everywhere. So I figured I might uh, well You see do... You can on. see that, like, the grass is, um... Like, bent along with a blood trail leading off kind of in the direction of the TPA park. Mm-hmm. And you kind of realize that that's kind of not the best area to be in because you you know of the TPA Park spirit and how manipulative it is. So it's not really an area you want to head to. Okay. Well, at least I know something was dragged over there. Can I see if it's like one or two like body? I guess look like the way the grass is bent. Look like you can see like two bodies. That no, it's only dragged. one body uh, that was. Hmm. Obviously drug, and you can tell that the body was massive, like, probably... Why, that was dragged? Yes. Oh, okay, so they must have changed to fight. Okay. I come back downstairs, I'm like, hey, let's go to the cops, alright? Let's go to the police station, I can't find a phone, and you don't have anything. Does that mean you walked outside? Because I'm I'm yelling in the living room, like, to the backyard. Because you were in the kitchen originally. Okay, I'm back in the living room. Yelling out to him. No, okay. let's let's not bring the police. Why into not? This. My house. It's, it's, someone just robbed my house, and I don't know where my it's parents are. Not so much a robbery. It looks like. Um, I can't. What do you mean by that? Well, please just come to the backyard. I'll just <laughs> I'll show you. I don't want you to see it, but it's gonna be messy. Look What's your it. name? My name is Guy. 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 Your name's Guy. Just Guy. Was your mom high? <laughs> I don't know. It's not an appropriate question to ask somebody about their <laughs> <my> mother. <laughs> How dare you? Yes. But I go into. <laughs> Seriously, I go to the backyard. Uh-huh. Uh, as you walk out into the backyard, uh, could you actually make me a straight composure check? Composure. Composure. Ah. Yeah. I need ten dice, right? 
Uh, you you need as many dice as you have dots. Yeah, so oh, you have three, three dots. There you go. No, hey, I was gonna use my thingies. Fine. Uh, Ten, two, three. All right. So you have no successes. Uh, you failed that one. I thought I was supposed to roll under. No, uh, you're supposed to roll an eight, nine, or ten. This counts as a one on this dice. Because it's a ten. Because this is actually considered a D hundred, so it does. Oh, okay. So I that's see. technically a one. It can be used in place of a D ten. So... All right. So um, to go crazy. You I knew re- it. You realize that this was like this is likely a good portion of your dad's blood all over the yard. What the derp? <laughs> What's going on? That's why. Why is there? What's all this stuff? That's we need to call the cops. Why don't you want me to get the cops? Because if you just look and see, these are not natural causes. I see blood. Yeah. My house Did is ruined. The, the, my the, mom the is gone. Door. My dad's not here. We need to get the cops. What Why don't you cops? want me to get the cops? It's... Uh, Maybe you can't well, explain it. it. I'm walking away from <laughs> here. I'm going back up to the street to the police station. Uh... uh. We're going to pause on YouTube, right. and we're going to get back. Okay, as stated, they have about a three-point lead. So yes. can I get... Um, Are they inhuman? No, they have switched to Urhan as they've gotten as they've gotten a little bit further away. You see them start to turn down a, a rather decrepit-looking alley. Okay. From, you have just exited the original alley they went into. Okay. Are there any people around? It is a bank parking lot. <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> I believe this was on... This was a weekday. So they're open. Yes. Which means there's people. Yes. Which means we're going to run in human form. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so we'll start the... I'm going to start the chase in human form at least. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead and use your speed plus athletics. Speed five plus for your roll. Athletics two is seven. One two. What's your three, roll? Speed plus seven, athletics seven, and um, issue. Seven. Issue eleven plus four. Eleven. Speed right? Issue. Yes. Yeah, is that the wrong one? Oh, yeah, I did the wrong one. Speed is 10. I looked at size. Yeah. So it's 10 plus athletics is 2, so 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, um, you don't have the app on your phone, do you? No. You can go ahead and roll. Okay, so one, two, three, four, Just tap the screen. five, five normal successes with two tens. So that's an exceptional success. Yeah. I'll re-roll I these. One, five. Two, Just five successes. Still exceptional. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You think I got five? You think? I think eight and above. Five, right? Because it's eight plus, and then a... Yeah, so five successes. Yeah, five successes. Okay, well, you both achieve an exceptional success. Um, you're able to get to the alley before, they are, before they're even about halfway down the alleyway. Sweet. Oh, we're fast. Uh, hey, uh, look at you guys. Fast. <laughs> All right. Um, I wouldn't be that fast. However, you have, uh, they're still in the lead. Okay. Uh, but you are in an area now where it's unused, so you guys can change into Urhan if you so desire. Transform. Okay. <laughs> I so desire. I'll just go Dalu. Dalu? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, wait, there's a thing. I want to use tactical shifting before I change into Urhan to give myself a little boost. Okay. Uh, You're, uh, what did I do with it? You're going larger and then uh, going I'm, down. I'm starting larger using the larger form to push the smaller form forward. Faster. All right. Um, that 
For the next part of the chase, uh, go ahead and add two up. Okay. So, add so two. going. We're making another roll. Uh, same dice pool. Uh, one, two, three, four. Does it still only five? Mm-hmm. It, actually, I need to add another five for being an Urhan, don't I? Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, Four with two of those. We have five successes. Okay. So that's yeah. another exceptional success. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> because you guys gotten two exceptional successes, uh, go ahead and take the inspired condition. Boosh. I don't remember what it does, but I'll remember but we that, got it. that I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it adds extra dice when we use it. Oh. Yeah, and then that resolves the condition, and that gives you a beat. If you want to look it up real quick, um, that puts you. You're able to catch up with them, and um, you're able to get in front of them and kind of cut them off before they can get any further. And then you just kind of you block them in on the other side. I growl. <laughs> Rar. I'm looking up the thing. <laughs> hey, friends. They they shift from Urhan up into Dalu as well, and they kind of just, uh, mm-hmm. they put their backs to each other to kind of protect each other's back while keeping an eye on you, and they're lo- one says, so what do you want? Just info. I saw you in our territory not too long ago. <sighs> it's the border. Yeah, try telling that to the... I stopped myself <laughs> from continuing that sentence. I, I turn into Dalu. <laughs> what about the fire? That's in our territory. And I saw your mark. Once again, <laughs> the border. Our side of the border. <laughs> <laughs> this side, that side, it really doesn't matter these days. Doesn't it? Uh, it really does when you start causing a fire. I mean... Why should you be allowed to have that? Well, if it's on our side, then yeah, we're allowed to have it. Petty children, if we can't have it, no one has it. (laughs) You're a child. (laughs) Are we the child, or are you the child for not realizing what's really going on? Well, if you want to talk big, then talk big. What's going on? They shift into Urshul, both of them, and they snarl at you. I'll match their Urshul. Snarl back. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take a break from you two real okay. quick. I see your Urshul, I'll raise your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're back to you guys. You guys are... You're trying to stop her from yeah. running off to go to the police station. Yeah, I'm going to the police station. Yeah, well, let's let me talk to uh, my friends because they really are better. I'm walking. They're, 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 uh, so I, I grab her. Ugh. Grab her. I take off running. <laughs> okay, forget it. I'm gonna chase her. I'm gonna just grab her and or try to catch up to her. Uh, what's your guys' speed? Uh, you're both in his shoe, so twelve. Nine. Nine. Yeah, you catch. You <laughs> catch. <laughs> what was yours? Twelve. As a human? I thought I was quick with ten. He's faster than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he took fleet of foot. He did, didn't he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think two ranks. Yeah. One or two ranks? It's in your merits. Oh. One. One, one. rank. Okay. Just one. Yeah. I... Okay. So, uh, you barely start into a run, and he seems Sorry. to be, like, right at your shoulder, almost hey. inhumanly fast, and he already has a grip on your shoulder. What the hell? Hands just, off, man. Hands. I know. Just please, don't <laughs> run. We'll look, I'll explain it later. Look, we'll just go find guys, my friends. I need my mom. I know. Let me just get a hold of my friends first, because they're going after two suspects that... May have been involved or know about it. Well, we need the cops so they can get arrested. If you had a phone, maybe this wouldn't be a problem. Um, traveling Roots appears near you. In, um, oh. in 
Yeah, that's the, that's oh. your pack tote. Oh, I forgot. It appears on your shoulder. It, it's a um, snail with a willow tree coming out of its shell. Uh-huh. And it, and it appears on your shoulder in twilight form, so it's kind of got that ethereal look. You know, you can kind of see through it, but you you can see it. You can't see it. <laughs> Not yet. Uh-huh. And, it, and it's, it, it's whispering to you essentially the dir- where the other two are. It knows where the other two are, and it's, yeah. These two? Okay. And it's relaying that information to you. Okay. Do I, I, do I don't talk to it, do I? Uh, you, I just know... It, it's it's basically like just telling you, hey, okay, they're over there. They're yeah, okay, and it's giving you a pretty clear map of how to get to them. Werewolf, werewolf. <laughs> okay, is so helpful. So I'm a. Oh my god, I don't want to drag her though. That's what I was thinking in my mind. Drag her. Um, <laughs> Smack. Because it's in the it's daytime, and there's already probably a commotion. Is there any way I can like? Someone call the cops! Oh, I Should I put my hand over her mouth? <laughs> <laughs> put my hand over her mouth and go, go back in the house that with her. Suspicious. Okay, so I, hopefully nobody saw. Oh man. You're, you're, luckily, Frankfurt's pretty dead when it comes to traffic. So you, uh-huh. Especially in residential areas, you don't have to worry about traffic coming by constantly okay. unless you're on like a major street. Only because of the destruction. I figured people were like, let's go down. Yeah, they're but, at the fire. Yeah, they're at the fire right now. Everybody okay. wants to watch a fire. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Facts. So, I'm sorry for what I did. I just need to just please relax. My friends, I know where they are. They're not too far. Are they cops? They are better than cops, I guess. <laughs> um, but just trust me. I'm, we're here to help, and they'll help. Just follow me. Quietly, it'll be fine. If we need to call the cops, we will. But just right now, they will know what to do. Better. Hurry up, guy. Let's okay, go. Okay, we're going. So I'm following where the... Uh, okay, so he's l- he's leading you. Um, even his <laughs> walk is much faster than yours, though. Do you do Pilates? What's wrong with you? Sure. I get, I get my... I do a lot of daily running and exercising, cardio. cardio, yeah. Lots of that. I'll try to keep pace. I'm only 15. Geesh. That's fine. I'm only a couple years older than you. Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, what's... Well, it's better than this, you cover all that, than you scream it, so it's fine. You know what I'm it's okay. I'll slow, my, I'll slow down my pace a little bit. Alright, so, um, so as you guys are on your way, we'll go ahead and switch back to you. Okay. Hackles are raised in this alleyway. Uh, we have four wolf-sized horses in this Horse-sized alley. Horse-sized wolves. Oh, I see it at yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Three. three. We have three, and then one dollar. And one hairy... Harry, Harry, yes. Harry, Bearded lady. Bearded lady, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, my hands. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it, it, it's kind of just a standstill. Kind of a stalemate. And then you're able to see. Um, actually, uh, could you guys make me a perception? Sure. Roll. That's going to be. My uh, perception two, is eight. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hit the X button to. And then hit the plus button. Okay. Plus button. And then click on the D10 eight times. Eight. I'm also at eight. Do I add two? Because it says eight and then there's a plus two. Uh, uh, that plus two is already added into the eight. Oh. So. Alright. Rolling my eight. Okay. One, Three successes. Two successes. Uh, you actually can notice that on top of the left side building that there are now two in Dalu form up there looking down at you with their arms crossed. <laughs> mm. Really? Are we going to do this in this alleyway? So, I mean, yeah, it's a deserted alleyway, but it's a little public, don't you think? Maybe we should all just chill out. You know, normally I would love, and then I crack my neck, I would love to pick a fight with you. But for now, I have to agree with you. Sure. I'll go back to Dalu. Uh, in response, they go back to Dalu, and they're like, okay. So, let's see. Our work here is done. We have a package to go collect. I do too. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna ask, what package? (laughs) I'm 
Alpha's desk. Okay, Alpha. Special delivery. <laughs> Something that you don't need to know about if you don't already know. Now let now let our people through. They're looking directly at um, me. Yeah, Jack. Jack. Oh yeah, because I'm blocking their way. They're still in our territory, technically, aren't they? Yeah, they're <laughs> they're actually deeper in your territory than they were originally when they were in the square. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, I kind of reach out for your shoulder. Uh, well, we're on opposite sides of them. Yeah. What? We're in the alleyway. So, you're on one side. I'm on the other side. Let's line. say you're them. right here. He is further back, and they're in between the two. We're sandwiching the two. Ah. Uh, and then, and then the, the other two, two are up here. Okay, so they're trying to get through you right Yeah, now. yeah. Okay. So, I guess I just eye you and I give you the, just kind of move. Alright, so I, I sidestep. The other, the two walk by you and one of them does the whole, you know, <laughs> fake out move. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the and I, punk move. Sorry. And I tilt my head up at him. What's up? <laughs> they they continue walking on through the other two that were on the roof. They leap down over on the other side and they make their way away from your territory. Okay. That's I think good. I know what package he's talking about. I have a I have a decent idea. I think around this time is when you two show up. We're still in valley. Yeah. <laughs> you can see two really big people. They're yeah they're like they're probably like. Uh, what's your height in Dalu? Oh, uh, I didn't write that down. Oh. Uh, what? It's uh, the back page. Very back page. What? Yeah, I, sh- I should have written that down. I didn't write that down. This one? Yeah. Oh. I'll say I'm 5'8 <sighs> in normal. 5'8? I'm 6'5 in Dalu. Jeez. Jeez, honey. Oh, Dalu, sorry. Yeah, in yeah. Dalu, I'm 6'5". How tall so, are you in normal? We should be the same height, I assume. Normal, 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. I'll be 5'6". Five, so. <laughs> okay. so we're both 6'5". So yeah. yeah, you see these people that are almost six and a half feet tall. One of them looks like a extremely well-built bearded man. Beard man. <laughs> He's kind of standing against the, against the wall as if he was trying to let somebody pass. Well, the other one looks like a giant lady. God, what the derp is this? These are my friends. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, no, no. Trust me. Like, I turn back we, around. We agree. Just I'm walking I grab away. Her She's like, yeah. come on. <laughs> Just come grab on. her and drag her in come, here. Can I, I'll guide her. Lightly guide her. <laughs> guide her with sternly or... That's okay. With reassurance. Yeah. Really? Okay. Um, also, just... You can cut... You can kind of smell it, not really because you're still in issue, but you can kind of smell other werewolf oh. around. So you kind of realize that they were probably here not very long ago. Okay. Guy, what are these things? Oh, these are these are just a couple of my friends that I wanted you uh, to meet. <laughs> and uh, let me call them over because I'd rather do that than have you walk all the way down the, the uh, alleyway, which would feel more nervous than you already are. <laughs> So I call my friends, uh... Oh, Tommy. Tommy. And Jack. Tommy and Jack. I've got, uh, somebody, uh, the girl. We want you to her My house. name is Kida. Kida. I'm Guy. Guy. Do we introductions again? How tall, <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five. Five? <laughs> <laughs> Down. Are you so in, in? You're not in Hishu still, huh? No, we're, we're Dalu. We're both Dalu. Dalu. Yeah, so yeah. we're both 6'5". Oh, okay. 225 pounds. Are you pounds sure of these are your friends? Feet. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they they fight. They're cool. Why are they um, hairy? I smell it. Get away from me! What the fuck is wrong with you? That's how I greet. <laughs> hairy woman. I mean, can she smell anything funny on her? Uh, you can. S- uh, your oh, yeah, Dalu smell anything. Your Dalu senses are more or less your human okay. senses. You can smell her perfume or her shampoo from earlier that day. <laughs> I scoff. <laughs> <laughs> I turn I'm back. Glaring at her. <laughs> I turn back to human. <laughs> you see her visit? Uh, I'll let you describe it. I don't know. How what do you, you look like as a woman? Uh, uh, what are you wearing? Head. Well, I, how about you transform back into Dalu? All right. So I'll go from Dalu into Hishu, so near human into human. So basically, uh, because I'm so big, things need to rearrange 
in order for me to get smaller again. So snack, crackle, pop, rice krispies. <laughs> yeah, there are there are some snaps and crackles and pops and a bit of wiggling, and then I'm I'm normal sized. Oh God, that looks disgusting. It's my face. You go crazy again. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna follow suit. Yeah, I follow too. <laughs> and I'm back to normal size, which is apparently. 5'6 five, six was five, it? 5'6 six at 150 pounds. Guy, what the heck is going on? What are you? I start eyeballing you him up and down. You couldn't keep her calm, could you? She looks no. very rattled. <laughs> she wanted to call the police, and I said, hold off on calling the police. Uh, at least you yeah. held off on calling that the police. That was. And then she just so used to want to call the police, and I said, no. Can't so I brought her back here and uh-huh. try to have Clearly. you guys talk to her and explain. All right. Well, let's do this because you know gears are moving now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're gonna take you to a safe place. <laughs> I run. <laughs> <laughs> I got her. I got her. I got her. Get your man woman hands off me. Yeah, I grip harder. What the fuck? <laughs> I start kicking her. <laughs> I cover her mouth. <laughs> I was Why? trying to avoid that. Why but... is it every time? What is going on? I mean, she was fine time. until you guys decided to go back all of a sudden to his shoe. Well, was like right in front we of her eyes. ran into some problems I, that we had I, to I got the deal hint of that. with. I got that hint. That's why I didn't want to walk all the way down there. Alright, Kita, is it? Okay. Mm. I know. <laughs> I know you're scared. I know you're rattled. But we're here to help you. We're going to locate your family. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to help you. The help that you asked for. May I remind you? So I'm gonna I want to cross. Wait, I have your. I have my hand over. I here. want to cross. <laughs> so bite your hand. I assure you, whatever is after your parents, your the cops, as fine people as they are, <laughs> are not going to be able to help them. However, we are here to help you. So I'm going to move my hand. And I'm going to ask politely. My hair is in the back of my neck. I'm like <laughs> standing because I have anger issues. <laughs> we all do. I'm going to move my hand and I'm going to ask you politely to please stay calm. And I move my hand. And I glare at you. You can glare all you want. It's okay. <laughs> I don't mind glares. We're going to take you back to my place so we can recollect and see what we can do to find your parents. Then can we call the cops? Then, then, yeah, we could possibly <laughs> look <laughs> into sure, that. We'll <laughs> take in my head consider that. that. We <laughs> will take your take um, note of it. option into consideration. Let's go. And I leave. All right. So you got, it takes about a good... 20 minutes to get back to uh, your guys' place on West Palmer Street. Oh, where the West hell Palmer. is Robert? <laughs> we really probably could have used him. We ca- Maybe we could have taken those guys out if we had Robert. Maybe. Mm. Oh, you got. This is during your guys' walk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We probably could have taken him out. You know I love a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are crazy. So how many were there? Huh? How many were there? We chased two, two into the alley, and then later two showed up on the roof. Uh, yeah. They could and have the, been a they had pretty... high ground. It's a good thing I... It's a good thing if I was there, then we would have maybe done something better. We could bring it off, though. So. I'll need to call the cops after you guys think you can help me. Wow, she's a snooty one. We'll leave yeah, on the table. It's hard to but get around. What's your name? Uh, My name is Jack. Jackson, you call me Jack. Creepy. Thanks. <laughs> I think that's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone has ever said to you. I well, think she likes yeah, you. Yeah. You're so pleasant. <laughs> uh, you guys are able to get inside the house after a short moment. Oh, my goodness. We're home. I'll go to the fridge. Sir Reginald... Uh, Comes to meet mom. <laughs> Aw, hey Reggie. Oh, did you, did you good puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Reginald is a Swedish wolfhound, which is essentially a wolf corgi for those of you that don't know what a Swedish wolfhound is. It's and, amazing, and the name is awesome. <laughs> and if you do not know what a corgi is, for shame. Do you not do the internet? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I see him and I pick him up because he's cute. Yes, he loves everybody. I take him into the kitchen and open the fridge. I'm hungry. <laughs> Help yourself. Don't her. Yeah, <laughs> the, you know, welcome home, I guess, says the person that didn't even want to come with us. But yeah, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Have at it. All right. So I'm assuming it's powwow time. Powwow? We're having a powwow? I guess we're having a powwow. Hey, yo, In the living room. Yeah. Huh? I think it was a um, traveling Roots appears in oh. twilight form, sitting on top of a bo- bookcase in the living room, kind of watching you guys, as if he's confused about what's going on. Yeah, we're confused too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have guests. We have guests. We have guests. <laughs> How do we deal with said guest? I don't know, he came um, on my shoulder and leveraged you guys. So no, 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 not that guest. Oh. The other. <clears throat> the louder yeah. guest. Well, that's why. The fleshly guest. As I open a bag of chips and start munching on them. That guest. Oh, oh that, that guest. <laughs> <my> last one. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> well, she's in the kitchen. <laughs> my fingers start yeah. cracking. Yeah, down. <laughs> anyway. She's in kind of important. So. Fleshly guest who's eating my chips. Buy you more chips. Permission. Sis. Okay. So what are we going to do about said guest? We're down a wolf. He's off running around doing God he's, knows what. He's running in the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> running in the shadow. Good. So we have said guest. Jesus. And obviously, enemy territory wants her too. So now the fire and her are very much connected. Yes, but we saw her first, so. And so we got <laughs> dips. Yes, yeah. we have dips. But now I'm wondering, do we? Want to we want call to. said dibs because she kind of has a runny mouth. Open a cabinet and stand on the counter to eat some cookies. Mm-hmm. Are you s- <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, she definitely has the appetite of a werewolf. You hear that comment, by the way. A what? This is in Twilight. What are you guys talking about? Okay, Twilight <laughs> had it wrong. We laugh. Okay. <laughs> As I got a cookie in my mouth. First of all, they weren't werewolves in Twilight. Yeah, they were just giant wolves. They were just shape shifters. Yeah. Get your facts right. I'm Team Jacob all the way. Yeah, and I'm telling you, oh, get well. your facts right, because they weren't werewolves. You're wrong, old man. As I keep eating cookies. I'm only like three years older than you. Yeah, she should call me Grandpa. I don't know they're two years older, so. She's she about to talk, though. Way. She has the face of a 25-year-old. Ooh. Hairy woman. <laughs> I'm keep eating cookies and chips. Okay. Back on topic. Uh, On topic, do we want to keep her? (sighs) Whether or not we want to keep her, we kind of can't let them have her. Uh, For the same reason they don't want us to have her. So we either keep her or we... Kill her. Yeah, dispose of her. (laughs) That is an option. I hope I (laughs) tilt my head back. Excuse me? Nothing. Enjoy your cookies that (laughs) were actually mine. Tell me when we're going to call the cops. You guys are taking too long. We're getting to that. Anyways. (sighs) No. I mean, we could, we could just rush the process and just bring her in. Um, you get the sense of the totem saying no, but Root says no. <laughs> it, mm, yeah, now that I think about it, it might not be fair. I guess something Oath of the Moon, Wolf Blooded have an easier way in than werewolves, and she. Feels like she's gonna change soon. Soon. Wait. So she may just only be wolf blooded. Well, I don't get the sense of a full werewolf from her yet, okay. but it's more of a. So when do you? Uh, uh, the. You know, oh wait, when your sense you're you're not in the you're not in the hissle yet. So. Um, uh, traveling Roots seems to have his head turned as if he's speaking with somebody. Just, you can kind of see the conversation, like he takes with you. Okay. When he's talking to you guys. But he's got his head turned in a different direction. And then he begins to tell, he begins to tell you, um, she is on the verge of turning probably within the next couple of days. Okay. So I'll relay that information. So Roots says she's probably going to change in the next couple of days. Well, they can understand Roots. Too. Oh, there. there but was go. he talking directly to him? Or I, I, to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, great. So we have babysitting. Huh. That's going to be... Not a, if she's <laughs> right. if okay. she's loud I, now. I won't take the first shift, you guys. Well, we're keeping her here? Well, we have to. We have to keep an eye on her. It's either that or the pound. <laughs> yeah. Once again, you're able to hear all this. You just can't hear traveling roots when he talks right now. So you're just going to keep me here and not call the cops? That's a waste of time. My we're... house is terrible. There's blood in the backyard. And yeah. my living room's blown up. You know, all very valid points. We need very cops. Valid we need detectives. <laughs> yes, cops, detectives. Um, you know, just whatever military forces there are out there. Yes. Let's put this. <laughs> let's put this in movie terms. Somebody's after you, so mm-hmm. we're trying to not have them get you. Ooh, movie references. Yeah, love those. Those are my favorite. So, you know, just living quietly. My dad's an awesome lumberjack. Uh-huh. And my mom is very awesome at archery. She yeah. used to be an Olympian. Okay. You know, very, very. I don't know standard, where they are. Very standard, you know, main character movie thing. I had a normal family, and then crap hit the fan. Whoop de to you! I'm trying to get my life back together. You're not getting yeah. your life back together. I need your house to is broken that. into. That's why we need the cops. The cops aren't gonna do jack. How ah. do you know? Because I'm Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got it. That was corny. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Very- well, we're old, so we do. Those are our dad jokes. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen and eighteen. Yep, dad jokes. <laughs> you guys are just kids like me. Where are your parents? Wait, you just said we were old, what? and now we're kids. Yeah, you guys are pretty childish, not wanting to call the cops. So I guess you're kids. Where are your parents? <laughs> That's a difficult That's subject a <laughs> <laughs> for. Him and all of us. That's, that's, yeah, it's a touchy subject That'll for now. That'll be for another day. For now, I'm sure you're feeling tired. No, I'm hungry. Yes. You yes. Just and ate, I want my yeah. phone. You. Where's your phone? You went home. You didn't get your phone home? No, everything was tore up. Oh, it's almost as if somebody was looking for you. Yeah. Which is why I need the car. Which is why it's better for you to hide. Hide. Exactly. From Whenever white. the cops can't handle, because I guarantee you they can't handle this. Wow, what great citizens. You don't believe in your town cops. <laughs> mm. I, I, I think it's time to... Okay, so... Wait. So I just change, then I'll go up into... Well, I mean, she's seen Dalo. I'll go into Dalo first. I mean, at this point, I think all of us would be pretty irritated. Yeah. And just kind of... So, yeah. First, first this is why, you know... <laughs> Bones buckle, muscle shifts, and I go six, what was it, six five? Yeah, six five. five. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Do you think a cop can handle this? Twilight. (laughs) Twilight. That's so cute. I would tear Jacob in half. Oh, yeah. Whatever. That's it? That's it. Whatever? Just, just okay, whatever. Okay, can, can you turn into another thing? <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> is this <laughs> show and tell, please? Is this show and tell? Oh, is this show and you're tell? not taking this serious. I, I want my mom. Which one to turn into? There's Erhan I know. Urshel. <laughs> I would just turn into a wolf. The little wolf? They're Erhan, yeah. yeah. Normal sized wolf. Just normal, little. Yeah. Yeah. Poochie side. Crackle and... I don't know if my clothes hair. would rip off hair just <laughs> no, grows out and go on to all fours. It's more like your clothes merge into your body and then grow out as your hair, essentially. Oh, okay. It sounds like morphing. It is morphing. Yeah. Mighty Morphin Werewolves. <laughs> so I'm in uh, my Urhan form now. What is that, half human? Like? No, no, wolf. 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 Yeah, wolf. Full wolf. Okay. I'm just a wolf. He can't speak anymore. Mark. 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 Oof, oof. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Sir Reginald runs up to you and, you know, kind of t- <laughs> bite, leaps up and bites onto your ear and starts pulling on it. Just laid down. Like, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Every time. <laughs> So this is the situation that you're in. This, I gesture myself, is what's after you. So if you want to put innocent human lives at risk, fine, call the police. I'm sure they will just love to see this. (laughs) And I'm sure they have the equipment to go after this. And this. And And this. And this. (laughs) And this. I do a little crap. But 
I guarantee you they don't. What can you do that they can't other than turn into a fat corgi and a half human? Okay, excuse <laughs> me. He is very sensitive about his weight. <laughs> and Sir Reginald is a very healthy pup, okay? He's cute. I wasn't referring to him. A wolf? That's oh. not the corgi's cute. I was referring to this oh, obese so thing. Him obese? That's I'll fat. show you a fat werewolf Ooh. and then I'll turn into Herschel. <laughs> <laughs> You're super obese. Oh, and now, and now... What, go ahead. Yeah, so from Dalu, things get weird because it's a kind of immersion between what he did, but a lot bigger. So it's Again, a lot of bones snapping, muscle rearranging, skeletal frame changing, and it looks very uncomfortable and painful, but, you know, we deal with it. So now I am a very, very, very large wolf. You said Urshan? Urshan. You said Urshan. Which is wolf, but more, much, much larger. Yeah, like horse-sized. <laughs> and I do a really deep growl. And at this point, you're kind of taking up a good portion of the living room. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't fit into the kitchen anymore. Yeah. You can kind of get your hand in there. <laughs> almost up to the ceiling? A little... I can, oh, I can stand full height and not touch Yeah. Me. Okay. I'm still very, very tall. Very large. And I can't speak human anymore. <laughs> I look at him and scoff. I turn to guy and scoff. Scoff. Okay, Tommy, you say you guys know what to do, so mm-hmm. I'll trust you for now. Mm-hmm. For a couple of days so I can get the cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you really really believe you could find my parents? Yes. Yeah, I can guarantee to you that we will find your parents. Alright. I can roll my eyes a little bit. <laughs> I pick up the fat Corgi and I go upstairs. <laughs> Corgi's not fat. <laughs> Reggie! Come back. Reggie begins to squirm out of your arms and then runs to her. No, he's so (laughs) cute. You insult my pack and then try to abduct my corgi? Who's also a pack. (laughs) And I turn back down into human. Uh, Snap, crackle, pop, and I'm small. (laughs) With those same sound effects. effects. With those sound effects. I walk past you and just start rummaging the kitchen again. Well, you were already in the kitchen. And you said you were heading upstairs, which... Is connected to the kitchen. Okay. Well, never mind. I stay in the kitchen looking for more food. You can take Robert's room. Where is his room? Just pick a room. <laughs> Someone upstairs. Somewhere upstairs. I take a whole bunch of junk food and I go upstairs. I really don't. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this one. She's a lot more. Huh. Willful. I'll just put it willful. She's, yeah, very Because willful. when we turned, we took it with stride. I'd say we took it pretty I'd well. like to think we did. And then, <laughs> Guy. I turned back into. He was issue. frazzled. He was frazzled. <laughs> he was I scared. Was a little frazzled. Yeah. But, you know, he came to terms with it. And Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Robert will forever be the funniest story out of all of us. His, um, hmm. He, he accepted it, but her, she is taking it quite hard. She hasn't even changed yet. I know. It's, uh, well, that, it's gonna and get worse. Um, Traveling Roots makes the comment, mm-hmm. you haven't told her that she's one of you yet either. Yeah, I don't think she's ready for that. She can't no. even accept the fact that we're trying to help her. She's still in the mentality of humans can help. Humans can help. And then did you see how she just kind of scoffed? <laughs> Seen a wolf? Oh, I know, right? that's nothing, which Who makes scoffs? me... Who scoffs? Who scoffs? <laughs> I've seen... How can she scoff? I've seen fear. I've seen terror. I've seen confusion. But her reaction was definitely the first... You know, she seemed very... Real crazy. <laughs> yeah, at least she didn't get crazy. She's gonna make a few enemies with that attitude, though. Uh, maybe yeah. it'll change once she does her change. So maybe mellow sure. out, you know, it's a phase. Out. Mature. <laughs> it's a maybe. pre-puppy yeah. phase that she's it's going through. Real antsy, angst. <laughs> Teen angst. Downstairs? Um, right. Actually, the, the... You can't really hear much that goes on downstairs from upstairs. Okay. We'll have to really keep an eye on her. I don't know if her 
personality <laughs> will fit with our pack, but only time will tell. For now, we're just going to have to babysit. Yeah, it's babysitting for now. All right, so uh, the next full cycle of the moon is going to happen in three days, which uh, you guys know it's the half moon. Half moon. Um, there's not really anything planned for these three days, so is there anything anybody's character wants to take or get done? During these next three days, um, I'm going shopping for clothes. I don't think our, we we're not leave. letting her out. Yeah, you're on house arrest. Where's your clothes? <laughs> you, okay, what do you want? Do you, like, where's your closet? <laughs> do you want a change of clothes? Yes. Okay. Nice. You're not even the same size. Mm-hmm. I'll find something. Wait, how tall is your character? Five. What? Ooh, yeah. I can give you a t-shirt that'll look like a dress on you. <laughs> Would you like that? I also have a lovely cocktail dress, but I don't think it's going to fit you. So, a cocktail dress or t-shirt dress. It's, those are your two options. I take her t-shirt dress and I put it over my shirt that I already got on from Colt. <laughs> Wait, hey guy. Yeah. Go shopping for me. <laughs> okay, orders. I have about 30 bucks on me in my I'm pocket. I'm giving you the money. I'm gonna go out to visit uh, my lady friend. Okay, so that's what you'll be doing? Do you have a lady so friend? I have a lady friend, that? but you don't know that. I'm out the door. Uh, <laughs> I guess yeah. I'll just go shopping just to get her. Quiet. No, 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 no. So, okay, no. Thank you. you don't. Thank you. you and don't I walk move. out the door. No, <laughs> Don't um, stop if they just get by. You gotta go. I don't have much planned uh, yet. Can I claw yeah. her face out? No. I you... am so tempted to claw her face out. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. It'll maybe regenerate. Make maybe. a composure <laughs> roll. Okay. Can I make a composure <laughs> roll? Because she just dem- she just commanded my pack member <laughs> to go against me. Go ahead and make a composure <laughs> roll on that. Oh my god. This is... It's been fun. <laughs> uh, pretty good composure. Four and then what? Just compo- just straight composure. Yeah. So X and then. Plus. Try to keep composure or lose composure. Uh, keep. Uh, I you want it. her to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> you want me to keep it. Uh, let's see. Two. Okay. <sighs> You're able to take a deep <laughs> breath. <laughs> And you were about a split second from going Dalu and decking her. Like, you all had already drawn your fist back. Yay. But then you kind of put your hands up in the air and, and you know, take a deep breath. <sighs> She's a child. I'm an adult. Reggie! <laughs> Sir Reginald comes running up with his eye patch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has an eye patch. <laughs> Ugh. I sit on the couch. No, on my chair. I have a special recliner chair. The alpha chair. Yeah. Nobody else sits there. The alpha <laughs> chair. That's my chair. Oh, she would have sat on my chair. Oh my god. Oh, no, then, I, ideas. then I probably would have lost it. Somebody would have died. <laughs> so it's just the two of you in the house at this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Reginald, this is me the, strength. And this is day one. Oh, this is just day one. Day one. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. You two are just sitting in the living room, and she's just sitting there in her recliner with Sir Reginald in her lap. Do you want to do some cooking? No. I don't want to do cooking. Would you like to do some cooking? The kitchen is free for you if you'd like to do some cooking. Asking, I mm. want to make some cookies. And you can make some cookies. I believe I have flour, sugar, and chocolate chips and all that stuff. Got any video games too? Mm, I think Robert does. <laughs> Actually, I think <laughs> Robert's into that. Alright, I start walking upstairs to find Robert's room. Where's Robert? <laughs> I do some push ups. <laughs> <laughs> so Reginald hops onto your back. And the extra weight. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Add some resistance. 
All right, and I think we will call the first session there. It has been Ian, me, your storyteller, <coughs> accompanied by uh, Peter as Jack, Daniel as Guy, Tommy as <laughs> Tommy as Melina, Tommy as Melina. sure, <laughs> Tori as Kita. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye. Peace. See ya.